done yet. Yeah, feel the burn. Keep it up, son. Pick up the face, baby. Shoot it! Jab, jab. One, two. Faster, faster. Hit him, baby. Get serious, kid. Smash him. Straight. Uppercut. Punch, punch, punch. Give him the good. It's your time, man. Show him what you got, baby. One, two, keep it up, son. Jab, jab, hit him hard. Uppercut, body blow. Pad that armor up back. Don't flinch. Hit him, baby. Straight. Counter. All right, smash him. The punch is mightier than the sword. You ain't no half fighter, man. Quit fooling around up there. Smash ain't no joke. All right. Shake it off, son. Build up the power meter. Now, back. Let it rip. World's waiting for you, kid. Kirby Triple Deluxe. Kirby games have always been easy to pick up and play. But as Kirby fans know, there's always a lot of depth hidden just below the surface. Each copy ability can be used for lots of different actions. As you can see, when Kirby inhales this energy and copies its ability, he gets beetle powers. He can do so many things with just one ability. Next. There are two other things I want to talk about in Kirby Triple Deluxe. Firstly, there is a huge number of collectibles for you to find. For example, these 8-bit keychains you can find hidden in levels. It's a real challenge to find them all, especially if you are also collecting all the sandstones. You find sandstone in levels too, and they'll help you progress in the game. Find them all, and you'll get a special bonus. I also want to talk about some of the Nintendo 3DS specific features in the game. Those keychains I mentioned earlier can be gained through the Street Pass features too. As you play through all the levels, sometimes you run into a special waddle -dee. He's there to throw you helpful items in times of need, and if you have a street pass encounter with someone beforehand, you'll get even better items from Waddle And if the person you street pass tag has the game too, you even get a key chain in the game. Kirby Triple Drax for Nintendo 3DS also launches on May 2nd. Next up is Yoshi's New Island. As Yoshi advances through each stage, he carries baby Mario on his back. But when Yoshi is attacked by enemies, baby Mario gets caught inside a bubble and becomes separated, causing a timer to start counting down. If the timer hits zero, Yoshi will fail his mission, so it's up to Yoshi to protect baby Mario Unlike in traditional Mario platformers, Yoshi's stage do not have a set time limit, so you can take your time exploring. The biggest new features of the game are easily the giant eggs. They are called Mega Egg Dozers, and when Yoshi throws one, he can destroy pipes, blocks, and much more. And so can be. They are called metal egg dozers, and you can roll them across the ground and even underwater where you can't normally go. 
Another key feature of the game is Yoshi's unique set of transformations. In this title, there are transformation types such as the rock breaking jackhammer or sea exploring submarine, all of which can be controlled using the gyro control of the Nintendo 3D. And when you acquire a certain type of star located in some stages, Yoshi can power up and become Super Yoshi. He'll fly like a shooting star through the sky or temporarily be able to run along walls and ceiling at will. There is one other Yoshi's transformation in this game that I should discuss. Yoshi will sprout wings if you use a special item called the Flutter Wings. Whether it appears or not depends entirely on your play status, including the number of mistakes you've made in a given level. Because the Flutter Wings let you float and fly through the air, players who are not usually very good at action games, and even beginners, will be able to enjoy Yoshi's new island. Of course, the series' usual smiley flowers, red coins, and stars are still hidden in each stage. So finishing the game with the coveted complete clear status is very challenging. If you are feeling confident about your skill, please try collecting everything in each stage to further enhance the experience. Yoshi's New Island will launch on March 14. Uh, it's a new platform game uh, for the 3DS, uh, very much about treasure, collecting treasure in these cool uh, kind of labyrinth uh, areas. Uh, and the cool thing is it's a, a two-player as well as a one-player. Uh, well, Shovel Knight is a side-scrolling action-adventure game. Uh, it's like a nostalgia trip and it's all rendered lovingly in this 8-bit style. Shovel Knight is based around only a couple of like simple mechanics, right? Like you're, you're a knight with a shovel, so you can only <laughs> As do... As the name suggests. <laughs> so if you've ever played a platform game or if you had dreams of the 80s, <laughs> then this is something that uh, should just be right up your alley. Next, we have some follow-up information about a previously released Wii U download title, NES Remix. As many of you know, this title collects some of the best moments from early Nintendo Entertainment System games, like Super Mario Bros. and The Legend of Zelda, and remixes them with new challenges and level designs. And now, we decided to release Volume 2, NES Remix 2. In this one, the challenges have been pulled from later NES titles like Super Mario Bros. 3, 
Kirby's Adventure, and Metroid. Similar to the previous version, it will offer NES stage in which you face new challenges during specific scenes from each title. The game also offers remix stages, special levels from each game that have been modified with fresh new elements. On top of that, this title comes with a full bonus game, Super Luigi Brothers. It's based on a challenge included in the first NES remix that has Luigi's running right to left in World 1-2 of Super Mario Brothers. But this time, it will include all the levels from the game. This adds a new spin to an experience that is likely familiar to a lot of players out there. And of course, you can use Luigi's signature, High Jump 2. NES Remix 2 will be available from the Nintendo eShop on April 25th. In January of last year, we announced that Game Boy Advance titles would eventually make their way to the Wii U Virtual Console service. We are happy to announce that we will finally begin releasing them this spring. Starting in April, we will begin releasing such fan favorite as Metroid Fusion, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3, and more. Over time, we will continue to release more titles, so please stay tuned.